Network administrators are always under a lot of stress to manage an increasingly complex web of resources, not to mention different policy models, methods, and a mix of new and legacy infrastructure. Appstra delivers complete end-to-end -end data center automation with hardware and device OS vendor agnostic templates that allows you to apply security policies using a simple user interface. You specify the policy, and they are automatically rendered in the vendor-specific syntax and methods. In this short demo video, we will see how to create a security policy to segment traffic within an Appstra managed data center fabric. Juniper Appstra and the Fabric Assurance feature is also known as group-based policy. This feature is what creates a security policy to segment traffic within an Appstra managed data center fabric. There are some very intelligent capabilities when creating complex security policies where there are numerous rules, different virtual networks with different tenants, lots of commands, and potentially conflicting statements. These capabilities will take a policy that's been created and go through the components of how it's put together and analyze it. On the right side, you see this table where you have policies, the ability to search if you have a vast number of policies, conflicts where you have rules that are contradictory, and settings where you can fine tune the behavior of the system and how it reacts when it does encounter conflicting statements. An example of this might be a shadow rule, where one ACL statement is a superset of another ACL statement. You might want to tell the system, I want to use the more specific rule rather than the more vague rule, or vice versa, so that's performed in the settings. On this page, we have a very simple policy that was created to block pings between two servers here. These servers are known as endpoints. And here is the policy. We are denying ICMP and permitting everything else. There are some primitive elements here that we need to take a look at. Under the Virtual tab, we have another set of objects where we can define endpoints. These endpoints, as you see on the right side, consist of internal endpoints, which are servers or workloads that are considered inside the realm of the Appstra managed fabric. External endpoints, which are the same thing but outside of the managed fabric. Enforcement points, which are places within the fabric where the access control lists are placed. And endpoint groups, where we can group together individual endpoints either internal or external, into larger objects, which make them easier to be used in a policy. This is providing segmentation amongst traffic with ACLs and some of those intelligent features mentioned earlier. In this table, you can see the web server 3 in the first line and the virtual network that is located within. And virtual networks are the overlays. This is the multi-tenancy capability within an EVPN VXLAN environment. These endpoints represent the elements in this lab platform and that are used within the policy. We create these elements and assemble them into a policy, which is found under the Security Policies tab. I hope this provides a little bit of an overview of what Appstra calls group-based policy and the feature called Fabric Assurance.